Peace and love, world. Welcome to another episode of Conversation with Zoe. This is episode 36 titled, Mama and Papa Would Be Proud, But... And I say all of this because many of us have parents who weren't born in this country, or even if they were, they were born, they were raised by parents who were raised a lot different than we were. Like, generationally, it always changes. So success has a different definition to all of us. Success may mean something to our grandparents, and it may mean something to our parents, and then it may mean something totally different to us. I think for us as a generation, we value our happiness and loving life and feeling joy. and we So we find success in our happiness and loving and, and being devoted to what we do and being passionate about it. So mama and papa would be proud if we went down the route that they wanted us to go down. And a lot of their success revolves around job security. It revolves around benefits. It revolves around Being able to do all the little things, but the little things sometimes don't revolve any happiness. We're going to pay our bills. We're going to be responsive. We're going to pay our student loans. We're going to do all of those things that are required of us, but we're also going to do it doing something that we love and that are passionate and that we're passionate about. So that's the difference between us and them. So mama and papa would be proud, but... Am I proud of myself? Is my butt. Are you happy with your life? Are you happy with your career? Are you happy with your job? Are you happy with yourself? Are you happy with what you are doing? Because at the end of the day, that's what matters. I feel like eventually they're going to come around. Even if they don't, that's on them. But they're going to see you striving in life and being successful. And a lot of doors opening up for you. Because you're doing what you love. So let's make it relatable. I worked manual labor one summer. And I made good money. But it was terrible. I couldn't really play baseball afterwards. Because I'm doing a job that's really strenuous on my body. Even though I'm 20, 21 years old. It still takes a toll on me. What do I do the following summer? I started coaching baseball. What could my parents say to me? I'm earning a check. I'm making money. I'm be I'm able to buy my books. I'm able to save money for when I go back to school. So what can you really say to me? And for me, for my own well-being, because that's all that matters at the end of the day, is your personal well-being, is I'm making money, I'm doing something I love, and I'm enjoying myself. I'm enjoying my summer. I'm living the life that I want to live. So our parents set expectations for us that sometimes are very realistic, but are sometimes, sometimes unrealistic and in many times it's all based off they mean well and i'm not taking i'm not discrediting any parents out there but you have to let that child go be an artist be a baseball player be whatever they want to be be a musician if they want to be a lawyer great if they don't great let them let them excel in what they're meant to excel in and that's going to make life easier so i see both sides but I'm more biased to my side because I'm speaking from my perspective as the, the, as the child, as, you know, my parents wanting this for me and not that I didn't want it for myself, but I also wanted more for myself. Like my mom, mama would have been proud if I was an MTA driver. Oh my God, my son is a city worker. Oh my God, he's doing all these great things and he has benefits and he's going to retire in 20, 25 years, but I wasn't put on this earth to be a city worker. And it's nothing against city workers, but that's not my calling. We all have different callings. And you have to let your children go towards their calling. Now, obviously, if it's hurting them or, you know, it's causing other issues, then intervene. But if it's not hurting them and they're happy and they're finding fulfillment between their, within themselves and their soul, you got to let that be. You got to let an artist be an artist. You know, let a dancer be a dancer. It may not seem lucrative to you. It may not seem like they're going to get rich off that or they're going to sustain themselves, but it's going to figure itself out. And their passion and their love for what they do will help them figure it out. And trust me, if it's not for them, even if you don't tell them, life will. And life will push them out. And then they'll figure it out. This isn't where I belong. 
Mama and Papa would be proud. But be proud of yourself, my brother and sister. Because at the end of the day, that's all that counts. And that's all that should matter. Is your your happiness, your self-love, your self-confidence. And you don't need anybody to root for you if you're rooting for yourself. If no one's clapping for you, clap for yourself. Give yourself a round of applause. All the praise you need is within you. Praise yourself and everything else comes secondary. If it falls in your place, if it doesn't, at least you know. That your heart and your passion is where you want it to be. Align with yourself before you align with others. Peace and love.